Morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is March 4th, 2021. Happy Thursday to everyone once again. And this is the second episode of the Facts Matter series, where I go in and I debunk disinformation uh, in order for everyone to see what the truth really is laying behind the uh, evil intentions of those that push disinformation. Now, for those of you that value facts, you will like this series. For those of you that easily become thin-skinned because perhaps they're facts that you would rather not hear, well, then you're probably on the wrong channel. Disinformation is a big reason why we have the problems that we have in this country right now. And I am committed to making sure that the information that I put on this channel combats disinformation, <clears throat> along with combating, of course, my regular, you know, con artists and scammers. Um, but we have a huge problem right now with disinformation, and I'm going to continue this series regardless of whose feelings it might hurt. Facts should have nothing to do with your feelings. They just simply are facts. Here we go, guys. Here is the claim. The U.S. President, Joe Biden, erased Dr. Seuss from Read Across America Day. That is the claim. Here's what's true. Biden didn't mention Dr. Seuss by name in his 2021 proclamation recognizing Read Across America Day, whereas some of his predecessors had. What is false? Efforts to move away from try <clears throat> excuse me, from tying the author to the special day preceded Biden's time in office. Additionally, claims that a public school district in Virginia banned or somehow canceled Dr. Seuss books is 100% false. So March 2nd is the birthday of uh, children's author Theodore Seuss Geisel, widely known as Dr. Seuss. In celebration of the Green Eggs and Ham author and his contributions to children literacy, the date has long been tied to the Read Across America Day, a National Education Association day dedicated to encouraging children to read, of course. That started to change in recent years when the NEA began pushing for the day to focus more on diverse children book authors. And also there was a discussion of racist depictions of characters in a few of Dr. Seuss's works. So in 2021, on what would be the author's 117th birthday, those circumstances along with false claims that a school district somewhere in, in Virginia banned Dr. Seuss books and a brewing conservative backlash over what they're calling cancel culture, which by the way, personally, I'm not convinced of as of yet. They came together, however, in a digital big bang of internet outrage with some claiming that Dr. Seuss had been quote unquote canceled by the left. But here's what, what is actually true. On March 2nd of 2021, when U.S. President Joe Biden made his proclamation recognizing Read Across America Day 2021, many conservative news outlets reported that he did so without mentioning Dr. Seuss by name. Biden removes mention of Dr. Seuss from Read Across America Day is what the headlines read on the New York Post. And other right-leaning news outlets echoed that narrative, a lot of them, including Fox News. Biden's two predecessors, former Presidents Barack Obama and Donald Trump, both issued proclamations recognizing the National Reading Day without also commemorating Dr. Seuss by name. Well, also commemorating Dr. Seuss by name. While Bill Clinton honored Dr. Seuss in recorded remarks made for broadcast. But, move, but um, movement away from linking Dr. Seuss's work to Read Across America Day began before January 2021 when Biden took office. As USA Today has reported, since the National Reading Day's inception in 1998 until 2018, the NEA had partnered with Dr. Seuss Enterprises, the um, organization tasked with preserving the author's legacy. But in 2017, the NEA announced it would begin moving in a different direction in favor of promoting more diverse children books. 
The announcement coincided with discussions over racist imagery and language found in Dr. Seuss's body of work. And in 2019, um, there was a study that was done by Conscious Kids Library and the University of California, San Diego, that said that the vast majority of human characters in Dr. Seuss's books were white, and non-white characters were portrayed in an offensive manner. Dr. Seuss Enterprises announced on March 2nd of 2021 that it would take the steps of no longer publishing six of the author's books because they contained what was considered racist imagery. Seizing sales of these books is only part of our commitment and our broader plan to ensure Dr. Seuss Enterprises catalog represents and supports all communities and families. That was what the announcement stated, and that is the exact quote. Adding to the kerfuffle, the public school district in Virginia was forced to release a statement to counter false rumors that Dr. Seuss books had been banned by the district. Although the district will no longer make Dr. Seuss books the focus of its Read Across America Day activities, the author's works have absolutely not been banned and are available to all students in their libraries and classrooms. And this, uh, of course, came directly from the school. All right, so um, just so that you understand, that is the story behind the whole Joe Biden erased Dr. Seuss from Read Across America Day. It uh, absolutely is just not as it's being portrayed. Um, you know, it's it's becoming a really popular thing for both sides to make claims that anything that becomes an issue, whether it has to do with the presidency or the administration or not, it could be something that has absolutely nothing to do with the executive branch whatsoever. It may not even have anything to do with um, any of the main three branches. It may be a state thing. But if it's something that's widely looked at as a negative thing, it's automatically the opposite administration's fault. And that is disinformation. That is incorrect. There are um, There is a hierarchy in terms of employment for the government on purpose. And the majority of those things don't fall on the actual administration. But regardless, that is what we're facing. That is what I'm battling, and I will continue to do so as long as you guys are there to support me. And I thank you for your time, and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.